After losing a 10-point lead against Southern Utah, ISU looks to rebound today as NAU is the opponent on the Idaho Central Credit Union court. The visitors from Flagstaff started really, really well. NAU's Raven Anderson inside, Brittany Lusane a little bit further out, and then you're going to see Erica Banks. She had a great game, 22 points, a game high for her. Team shot 53% in the first half did NAU. They built a lead and ISU kind of chipped away but would fall behind it. It really stayed between that four to ten point advantage. Bengals working at it. Epiphany Woods on the fast break and Jasmine Lemon with a beautiful dish inside to Megan Hochstein. Get another look at it. Hochstein with eight points and four rebounds. Lemon with eight points and two assists. Whips it in there. Great seal by Hochstein up and in. A little bit later on in the game, Grace Kenyon off the inbounds pass. She had 13 points and 7 rebounds. Don't worry, you'll see more from her later on in this one. Kenyon again. In fact, you'll see it right now. Not the most important shot. In the post, she drops steps inside, lay it up, and lay it in. But like I said, ISU just struggling to get over the hump. Could get close, but couldn't get into the lead. Jasmine Lemon battling. Gets her own rebound, puts it up and in. Let's go second half. They were down by as many as 11. There's three and a half minutes to go. That shut shot cuts it down to just a one point game. Annalie Policiccio, 15 points for her. And like I said, three minutes left to go and they take their very first lead of the game. Grace Kenyon, right place, right time. as She puts that one up and in, but the Jacks respond and take the advantage right back. Brittany Lusane, the and one, she'll put it up and put it in. NAU in front. 50 seconds left to go. Bengals back down by three. Epiphany Woods, 15 points for her. She'll cut the deficit to just one. They got a stop, and this is the winning possession. 15 seconds left to play. Seton Sobolewski going to go back to a similar play. Here's Epiphany again, this time. She's going to dish it and find Grace Kenyon for the biggest shot so far of her college career. Up and in, ISU in front by one. Fans are excited. Reed Jim is rocking, but you see that clock. Three and a half seconds left to play. Still got to make one more stop, and oh boy, was it close. NAU's Monique Mulder puts it up and in. But hold on just a second. Referees say no on the floor. They go to the replay, and in fact, the replay will confirm it. You see the light behind the basket is on. Ball still in hand. Idaho State comes back and wins it. Final score, 69-68 to on the last second winner from Kenyon. I mean, I don't know. I don't even really know. I just crossed the ball as hard as I could. And, I mean, Piff got me the ball and I scored. It was a great pass from her. Well, we were just trying to get a Piffany to come off a ball screen. Uh, knowing that she's good at getting to the basket and finishing in different ways, uh, but also that she attracts a lot of attention so that if you had a kick out, you might have a good open shot. Uh, it's really good. You know, what I'm really happy about and proud about is how our team you know, they grew during the course of the game. You know, we, in the first half, we didn't play very well. We didn't play very well defensively. We didn't follow the scout report very well. We missed layups on the offensive end. Um, and so it was just a really rough start. But we, I think as the game went on, we grew and we fixed things and, you know, uh, did a good job of figuring it out. The team will travel to Sacramento State and Portland State next week to continue Big Sky Conference play. Hey, what a game today. For the second time this season, Idaho State overcomes a double-digit second-half deficit to come back and get the win. 69-68 ISU over NAU at Reed Gym. Reporting for Idaho State Athletics, I'm Matt Gittins.